For Hebrew brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Moray, Dr. Yeshua Ben Uriah Israel, and we just want to take this moment, my brothers and my sisters, to thank you. Thank you so much for your likes and your comments, and thank you for your subscriptions, and thank you for your prayers. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. My brothers and my sisters, we just want to thank you for keeping us and for watching over us. You know, there are so many things. Excuse me. I signed us by the middle a little bit here. But uh, there's so many things that are, you know, going on. So many things, my brothers and my sisters. But we're just going to keep trusting Yahoo. Amen? We're going to keep trusting him for his goodness and his mercy and, you know, his truth, my brothers and sisters. Endure to our generation. Yes, um, we are in Psalm 27. And uh, we'll be dealing with the prayer of praise, the prayer of praise. And um, so we're going to jump in and, and glean from these um, verses that we're going to start out. My brothers and sisters, um, let me say here, it, it, when you talk to people and you ask them, you know, about who Yahuwah is. They, you know, sometimes, you know, they buffer around, buffer around until they stumble into an answer. You know, but um, I, like, I like what the psalmist say here. You know, um, Psalm 27, it starts out and, uh, by saying Yahuwah. Yahuwah, in the King James Version, it says the Lord. But, you know, we know that this is um, a prayer of David, a prayer of David, a, a psalm of David also. So, um, but he said, listen what he said here. And this, this is, um, when we're talking about when a person is secure and when a person knows for sure no guesswork is what he said in verse 1 Yahuwah is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear Yahuwah is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid? You know, when, when we were kids, you know, um, young kids, um, you know, we used to, let's have contests and um, see who could learn most of the Psalms, uh, you know, by, um, and, and know them by memory. So when you hear them, you know, we know where they're coming from. Excuse me, my brother and sisters. Excuse me. That's mine. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> is, I want us to notice here, it said, Yahuwah is my light. I want to notice the, the possessive known there. My, my, my light. He is my light. There is no darkness in Yahweh. I, I look at the word light here, and the, 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 there's a two letter, two, the, the, the word is, the, the, the word is, is a Hebrew word, and it's or, or, or. Aleph, Vav, and Resh, Or, Or. And um, what this word is saying here, it means a light, a light, a, a light, a bright light, clear, like, uh, we would say almost as, as clear as day, lightning, 
the, like the, the morning, the sun comes up, right? The ore is, a, is, a, is a, an illumination or, you know, luminary in, in every sense, including lightning, including happiness, bright, clear, my brothers and sisters. Day, lightning, morning sun. He is my light. The, the question is, is he your light? Because my brothers and sisters, when we have Yahuwah as our light, it means that our light, our life should be illumined, illumined you know, illuminate so much that people can see. Uh, Yehoshua said, so that they can see, the, you know, and, and glorify the Father who is in heaven. My brothers and sisters, if you belong to Yahuwah and he lives in your life, he lights up your life. He lights up my life. And, and so, because he is living in us and his light is shining in and through us, my brothers and sisters, it means that those who are in darkness can see the light. And that should draw them to a relationship with Yahushua and with Yahuwah. Okay? Right, so he is my light. Yahuwah is my light. But not only that, he's my light. My brothers and sisters notice that they say he is my salvation. He is my salvation. And because he's my light, and because he's my salvation, he asks, whom shall I fear? Look at the word salvation here, because... The salvation here is a word um, uh, Yesha. Yesha. Yesha is it is Yod, Shin, and Ayin. Yesha. And this word means deliverance. It means rescue. It means salvation. It means safety. It means welfare. Praise his holy name. And, and, uh, so uh, in salvation, it is, he, he made us safe, my brother and sister. Salvation, he made us safe. He delivers us. Okay? Um, is, is was saving grace. He, he, he gives us favor. Uh, the, the word Yeshai. Yeshai. Um, it, 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 it comes from, you know, it means liberty, deliverance, prosperity, safety, salvation. So many times you talk to people and, and you know, and they talk about salvation. In their mind, in the mind, and, and the way, the way, the way, most of the, the evangelical Christians use the word, and in the church, the way they use the word, is like you're getting saved. When my brothers and sisters. We want to notice this, that salvation has a past, it has a present, and it has a future tense. So I have been saved, I have been delivered in the past. Okay, that's past tense. Now, I am saved, I am being delivered as present. And in the future, I shall be, I will be saved, I will be delivered. 
So salvation is not just a one-time thing. The relationship must grow. And every day should be a new experience. Okay? So yes, yesterday I was saved. Today I am still saved. Tomorrow I shall be saved. I will be saved. I'm still. So, so you know. And, and it's not something that I'm doing over and over. It's just the favor and the mercies of Yahuwah. You know, how he delivers us. He delivered me yesterday. He's delivering me today, and tomorrow is going to continue to deliver. He gave me, when, yesterday when I trusted him, prosperity, safety. Today I am still trusting, trusting him, prosperity, safety. Tomorrow I am trusting him, prosperity, safety, salvation. Praise his name. And he said, whom shall I fear? If Yahuwah is my light and it is my salvation, the question is, whom shall I fear? Okay? The, the, the word fear, they, you know, is Yare, Yare. And um, what is saying here is to be a fright. It's, it is Yod, Resh, and Aleph, Yare. And it, 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 it means here that um, to, to fear. Whom shall I fear? The word fear. To be a fright. Okay? Um, to, to make afraid, uh, dreadful. To, to put in fearful reverence. It's, it's, a, it's, a, like a, a, it's a terrible act. You fear, you just, you know, fear come over you because of certain things. I, I, I um, share a testimony about um, how, you know, this guy was trying to kill me. You know, I wanted to kill me. His intention was to kill me. And at a, at a moment when he tried, I wasn't fearful. I, I just didn't feel fearful. I just, you know, if it was on my time to go then, I would just say, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'll go with you. That's what I was saying in myself, in my mind. But the fear came upon me when I left that location and get into another area, location. Then the thought come back to me what the guy tried and uh, was going to do. And then, you know, that kind of a, a dread, a dreadful feeling came over me, a fearful feeling came over me, a terrible act. You know, it's a terrible act. It's, it's like a, a, to put in fearful reverence, that, you know, that, that, that's what it is. And, and it is to fear morally or, or to revere or to cause, to frighten. Um, you know, to make afraid, dreadful, you know, be had in reverence, terrible act, terribleness, a terrible thing. That's, a, that's, a, that's what the word fear there. And they say, Yahuwah is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And then listen to what he said here. Yahuwah is the strength of my life. And the question he asks here, of whom shall I be afraid? So the word here, life, is kai. Kai, and it is basically referring to age. Look at the age and the age. Um, it is like living, okay, alive, alive, uh, you know, and, and living. Um, age, like this, like appetite is, you know, lifetime, lively. Um, it, it comes from another Hebrew word, kaya, 
means alive, hence, you know, um, and, and this, this alive, a living thing here can be a, a flesh, it can be a, a plant life, it can be, you know, water flowing, you know, strong, you know, especially in, in, in the feminine singular and the masculine plural. It's a life or living thing. And, um, you know, whether literally or figuratively, literally or figuratively, um, age is alive, is appetite. Is it, is it sometimes, and the word is also used widely in to, 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 to refer to like a, a congregation, you know. Um, you know, a creature, living creature, it, it can also refer to maintenance, merry, uh, multitude, uh, so something quick, something raw, something running, something springing, and uh, so it can also refer to a troop. Okay. So, this is what he said here. Yahuwah is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahuwah is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The word afraid here is, 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 is the word pakad, pak, pakad, pakad. And it's a pakad. And What it's talking about here is basically similar, it's similar to, this, to the word afraid, I mean, fear means dread, okay? To be dread are in awe. Um, you know, to be afraid, to stand in awe, to be in fear, to make, uh, to shake, it comes from a primitive root, to be startled. Uh, Sudden alarm, hence uh, fear in general. Uh, it, you know, some, some there are some things that there are some things that will make you um, fear, even though you 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 strong in Yahweh. There are some some things that will make you fear, okay, like hearing the sudden death news. When, when my mom went, went home to be with Yahoo, uh, I was in Atlanta. I was at a conference. I was doing a, a conference there. And it was like six o'clock, I well, California time, California time was like three o'clock in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time. I was in Atlanta, so that time was probably about about six Atlanta time. And my wife called me and she said, she said "Are you standing or sitting?" And when she, she, she said that, I know something happened. You know, I know something happened. I, just, I could just feel, you know, that thing came with me that something happened. And I said, what's going on? And she said, your mom just passed away in Jamaica. And uh, so, you know, I kind of, you know, sudden death, something like that, can, you know, can cause you to fear, can cause you to, it can make you shake, you know. <laughs> uh, but, and hence, you know, to fear in general, you know, be afraid or standing or to make, not to make, not to shake. So these things can happen, my brothers and sisters, these things can happen. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do before we enter to verse 2. We're just going to stop here 
and, and, uh, and start in verse 2 in the next session. But in the meantime, we're going to ask you, my brothers and sisters, to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the King. Shalom.